You're watching the BASS presentation. No doubt about it, a big bass tournament for the ages going on right now at Lake Fork in Texas. Bassmaster Elite Series, second spot of the season. Our live coverage sponsored by Toyota out there today, and we've got three and a half hours fishing time, plenty of time for more fireworks to happen. There's certainly been no shortage of it over the first two and a half days of this tournament. That's the way the leaderboard stands right now. If you're just checking with us, that's day three numbers right there, ladies and gentlemen. Trey McKinney within, uh, well, five pounds and change from 100 pounds for three days, and Tyler Rivet not that far behind. Stetson Blaylock, Justin Hamner, who had fallen out in the top 10 of the course of this tournament. Back in it right now, Tyler Williams, Justin Atkins, Patrick Walters, having come back, come back from a tough day number one. Jay Shakurit, giant day today, and Ben Milliken back in our top 10 as well. Got to be in the top 10 at the end of the day. If you are going to play tomorrow for this big, big tournament's finale, we can't wait for that, but we got plenty more to look at today. Davey Height, what a playing field. You're just How can you beat this place? <laughs> I don't know if you can beat this. I was uh, fortunate to be involved in that Falcon Lake tournament that we've been referring to a lot the last few days, but this is absolutely shaping up to be bigger and better than anything that happened there that week. Uh, absolutely incredible. Only 27,000 acres. You've got Big Canyon, Little Canyon Arm, and then the main Lake Fork Arm, but these anglers have spread out, and and we've seen them catch six plus pounders throughout the entire fishery. This is some stuff we're gonna show you here in just a minute that happened while we were That's away today, end. starting with Justin Hamner. She got me around the tree. Oh no. Get out of that tree. Where you at, where you at? No. Oh my gosh, come here, girl. Woo! Son. He earned that one. Oh man, 7 to 8 for Justin Hamner. That took place about 10 30, 11 30 oh. Eastern time. Good, good stuff. Gets him right back in the mix there. Tyler Rivette also has been busy while we were away after our FS1 coverage. Oh, it's a giant. Barely hooked. Oh, that's some fish. Oh my gosh. It's real close to the boat. So. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. There's two more like that on that tree. Scope stick, son. God, might be 24. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Woo! Look at that. Look at the belly on that thing. Come on, one more ounce. Eight pounds, 15 ounces. Nine pounder. I don't think she's 24. Ah, she's a little short. Surely she's 24. It's a giant. Oh. <laughs> wow. She's over. Wow, another over. Barely over. <laughs> Ooh, barely. That, that, that makes you. Nine pound or just barely 24 <laughs> inches. That shows you how healthy those yeah, fish are. All right, she needs a little water there. There you go. Yeah, a little water. <laughs> a good deal. Wow, Tyler Rivette having some kind of day out there. Hey, for Wyatt. Phoenix Boats, big bass of the day. Get him over 30 pounds, 31-13. Yeah. Wow. Going to keep him in this tournament going into tomorrow as well. That's the big fear is with the way the weights are, you could you, you could slide in and be in 10th and too, be boy. way back from the leader, but that'll keep pace. There's two more like that on that tree. That's that same group that was over there that we couldn't get the bite earlier. Yeah, it's just the, the that puts us dilemma in. yesterday and today. It's like if you could barely make it, you could move up so far. Oh boy, 
Tyler eventually, and he can catch him, and he can break it down like no other. Giddy up. <laughs> Good stuff out there. Welcome back. We got plenty more coverage of this spectacular day. Third in a row from Lake Fork. Welcome to the Bassmaster Studio, sponsored by Marathon. Tommy Sanders here with the great Davey Height. Ronnie Moore's here, Mike Such Sukana. And Davey, we, we, we keep wanting to dial back our expectations just so we don't crash into a wall of disappointment. It just seems to just get better the more we dial back the expectations. Yeah, exactly right, Tommy. You know, this morning I was setting myself up thinking, you know, the calmer conditions, sometimes the water warming up, maybe those fish will move up and lock on beds and not bite as well. But it's done nothing but get even better. I, I mean, I'm trying to already start thinking about tomorrow and will this keep happening, but I truly think it's going to. We're going to have about a dozen, maybe maybe more anglers, Tommy, disappointed that they're going to be sitting on the sidelines tomorrow that are on pace for the Century Club. Currently, currently 19 anglers are over 75 pounds halfway through this fishing day. So we know that only the top 10 will advance to tomorrow. They'll probably all break the Century Club, but boy, will there be about a dozen upset they're not fishing on Championship Sunday. Wow. Such, well, what record's going to fall first? Or has one already fallen and we just didn't notice? Well, Trey McKinney is only five pounds away from getting 100 pounds on three days. It happened three times at Fork. We got four guys over 30 pounds. He passed, keep pace with Falcon. We need 10 today and five tomorrow. So we could top that record. All right. Let, all right, we're, gonna, we're not going to hold back the dam much longer, it no, doesn't yeah. sound like. Let's uh, take a look at what we have seen, though, as far as today goes. It has been a big day with our Toyota Midday Report. Let's start it out with Justin Atkins. He got going early. Well, it's easy to do the Toyota Midday Report when you have these catches, no doubt about it. Justin Atkins using a worm, a little different than anyone else we've watched so far, fishing a drain, very similar to Justin Hamner, but using a different bait in a different location, but their strategy is very much the same, but his strategy was working very well this morning. He caught two eight pounders that really launched him up the leaderboard. Justin Atkins doing very, very well, fishing in a place that I think more than a lot of these other anglers, those fish, will, he will catch them coming and going through there. So he should be right in the thick of things today and tomorrow. How about Tyler Williams? Big, big day yesterday and backing it up today. He may be an electronics guy, Davey, somebody who loves using his live scope and forward-facing yep. sonar, things yep. like that, but he yep. does it in more of a traditional way. He loves a big rod. He loves a big old rubber jig, and I know that makes you smile, and so it's interesting to see old-school techniques transpire on new technology and Tyler Williams has been one who's managed that from the opens last year through the first two elites. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's a he's a rookie to the elites and he's using forward facing, but he is really just doing what he enjoys doing and what he does best. Justin Hamner, Justin Hamner, another good tournament, two in a row to start his season here. And man, he just, whenever he falls out, he catches a big one and gets right back in the middle of things. I just can't stop looking at those weights and thinking, how can you be in third place halfway through the third day of the tournament? You have 87 pounds of bass that you have officially scored. Unbelievable, unbelievable to see Justin Hammer doing what he's doing, but really it's not. No surprise, this is exactly what he loves to do. Like I mentioned earlier, he's fishing very similar situation, two ditches going into a big spawning area just like Justin Atkins. He's been catching most all of his fish on a jerk bait, and he's just missing that eight pounder, just keeping him a little bit below second, first and second place. Tyler Rivette, we just saw him catch a good one while we were away. Actually, that was a replay, but uh, man, he has been steady catching them all day long. He has officially surpassed his winning weight from his four-day elite at Okeechobee last year, and that makes me think about how our season started, Tommy. Every single live broadcast we've done, we've seen the three-day opens record fall at Okeechobee with over 90 pounds. The next open, we see uh, two basic 10 and 11 pounders caught, and then Toledo Bend breaks 100 last week, and this one, we're almost at 100 for three days. It has been a great spring, if, and we're not even in the spring yet no. for the fishing world, no doubt about it. Yeah, what you said about he surpassed his winning weight at Lake Okeechobee. Not That's just crazy. some normal lake, you know, yeah. it's one of the big bass fisheries that everybody of dreams it's on everyone's bucket list to, to go to if you've never been to Lake Okeechobee and in two and a half days of fishing on Lake Fork he surpassed his weight to win there for four days and yeah yeah we can do it out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're ready to break it down with Damn. him but let's break down our leader started the day with the lead and incredibly with all this action flying around here has held on to it throughout the day Trey McKinney yeah he's uh been very impressive. I mean, I don't know why we should be impressed because the anglers that came through the EQs this year, everyone knew they had really earned it and, and were going to be stars. 
on the Elite Series, and, and he has certainly done that. Had a great week last week. This, mor this morning he mentioned, I'm a little nervous. I don't get that way very often for a 19-year-old. <laughs> But I am a little nervous, but he got going with a five pounder and then this one right here just surely put him on his way, this eight pounder. Let him know that he certainly has a chance to win this thing and hold his first blue trophy up over his head at a very young age. A hook in the hand didn't deter him either. And no. the one thing I was impressed with, Davey, is we have seen him yesterday and, and heard from day one out over 40, 50 feet of water, a little bit deeper than other anglers, catching a lot more consistent size. But we saw that move into a shallower pocket where those main lake fish may end up feeding to by tomorrow, and he kept that honest. You could have stayed with 67.5, stayed stubborn and stayed out offshore. He catches a five, it either wasn't seeing a lot of fish or it wasn't happening. An hour later, he's shallow, catches two really good ones and he's stayed on top. And that's how you, you can never do the same thing all four days in Elite. You got to adjust and we saw Trey do that this morning. Well, and that weight we just showed you, already outdated. Uh, he is hooked up again and we'll show you about that. This was just moments ago. Beg it, beg it. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. And he's got an eight and a half in the boat, a couple of fives and change. Right yeah. Yeah. Smallest fish is. It was a, at this point, I believe his smallest fish was a 311. Ooh. Yeah, and so when we had left us at, at, at the end of Fox Sports 1, we had just gotten rid of his 1.7, but he had a 2.7 to get rid of. He did that with a 3.11, which became his smallest fish of the day so far. And this one, that was already reflected in that 95 plus pounds. Gave him about a pound and a half upgrade. What is going on with this fish? He's going to give this one a chance to cool off a little bit, gets him in the boat with no problem. <laughs> Definitely a good fish there. It looked a little bigger than that when it first shot. Mm -hmm. That one came in as a 5.3, so it gave him a uh, one and a half pound upgrade on the dock. <laughs> Trey McKinney, we've never seen anyone quite like him. <laughs> no. no one that young and no one that uh, spectacular in, in one tournament before, that's for sure. I don't know if it's a five pounder or not. Five. Five. Four. Three. Let's get it. Come on. Whew. That's one step closer to 30, baby. Dude. Look at that football. Let's Woo. go, dude. That's a pretty fish right there. And fr if, you're, if you're not joining us this morning his first five pounder he took a tumble on the front deck and ever since that moment his his mic has been in and out the rest of the day so he's a 514 to get over 30 pounds he's more like an eight pounder to get over 100 today or two calls Ooh. three calls Ooh. knocking at the door doing something very very big don't count out tyler from Vet either at this point right now we got Hamner, Williams, Blaylock, Stetson, Blaylock back in it. Ben Milliken in this thing. Jay Shakur, only Patrick 16 Walters pounds moving. behind. Yeah, 16, only 16 pounds. pounds Come on. behind. Let's go, as you say, Ronnie. <laughs> Let's go to a break right now, but we will be right back with more biggins. Discover the Dakota Lithium DL Plus 135 amp hour battery. With dual purpose 135 amp hour deep cycle capacity and an impressive 1000 cold cranking amps, this innovative battery is equipped with even heat technology, allowing charging even in temperatures below 32 Fahrenheit and boasts power gauge Bluetooth connectivity for real time monitoring. Dakota Lithium, 